Hello, my name is Sarah Hetrick and I teach clarinet and saxophone at Texas A&M International University in Laredo, Texas. I'm here today on behalf of Ultimate Drill Book as well as DCI for their Be Band Ready video series. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the biomechanics of breathing. If you're a wind instrumentalist, you know how important it is that we breathe properly to maintain the quality of our tone as well as the overall quality of our playing. A lot of the times we hear these well-meaning phrases like support your air or engage the core, but what does that really mean? And what organs and muscles are actually at play here? Before we break down the breathing process farther, let's focus on the two general steps involved in breathing. First, the inhalation, and second, the exhalation. The first step, inhalation, is where most wind instrumentals run into a few problems. So let's talk about what should be happening in the breathing process. In the breathing process, we of course use the lungs. We also use the diaphragm, which is usually addressed by itself, but it's part of what we call the abdominal canister, which will be demonstrated by this balloon. We have the diaphragm, which works together with the pelvic floor, the abdominal wall in the front, and the lumbar and thoracic muscles in the back. The abdominal canister is a closed system where as we inhale, the abdominal wall and the lumbar and thoracic muscles expand outward and the pelvic floor and the diaphragm expand downward. This increases the intra-abdominal pressure within the canister. This diagram here will help us understand how the abdominal canister works with the lungs. Upon inhalation, air enters the trachea and begins to fill the lungs. The ribs then swing up and out and the abdominal canister begins to lower downwards as the lungs continue to expand. When the lungs are fully expanded, the muscles in the abdominal canister will begin to engage and recoil upwards. The engaging of the core and the pelvic floor are going to push the air out and into your mouthpiece. The phrase engage your core should be applied to the exhalation of the breathing process only. After your lungs have expanded fully and the abdominal canister has been lowered and the pressure has increased, the muscles will want to recoil, pushing the air back out. As you're pushing the air back out, engaging the abdominal wall will help control the release of that air, resulting in more control of tone. Today we're going to cover three common learned behaviors that may be inhibiting your breathing. The first common behavior is constant flexion of the abdominal wall. When I push on what would be the abdominal wall, you can see from the side view that that pressure is reallocated towards the diaphragm and the diaphragm can no longer lower for farther expansion of the lungs. This one is especially common among marching instrumentalists because they feel like they need to engage their core for stability as they march around the field. Remember that upon inhalation, you want to release those muscles and allow for the pressure in that abdominal canister to reallocate. The second learned behavior is especially prevalent in performance settings. This can be referred to as sucking in, where we engage the abdominal wall and we hold the pelvic floor upwards, which constricts expansion not only in the abdominal wall, but in the pelvic floor. And the diaphragm cannot lower because that pressure is being held up and held in. The third behavior is pretty simple and it's often referred to as chest breathing, where the lungs don't expand even enough to necessitate the diaphragm lowering and this pressure to reallocate. If you think that you might be engaging in some of these learned behaviors, there's many different methods and exercises out there to help you become aware and to relearn. Things like the breathing gym, the breathing tube, and spirometers can all be really helpful. I would also recommend working with a private instructor to help you become aware and to relearn these behaviors.